This is the next timer that controls his movement according to your mouse. Control dot mouse position dot x is the mouse position relative to your computer. You know, where on your computer is your mouse position on the x axis. Me, once again, coming back to me, you're referring to level 10, because that's what, what it's in. Level 10 dot location dot x. The level 10 x location. If it's less than the uh, boss dot location dot x, plus 30 is just his uh, left, the left side of him. His width is 60, so do 30 just to get it to where your mouth is in the middle of him. That's all that plus 30 does. Control dot mouse position dot x minus me dot location dot x is less than boss dot location dot x plus 30. Then, if he can move left, that's just if he gets over to the side over here, he doesn't just keep going off the side of the screen or, you know, over here hanging off. So once he gets, gets to the side right there, he'll stop. And move left is a Boolean value it's set to false at that point. Well, in case you missed all that. Him moving to the left, that move left is a boolean value. If he gets to the side of the field, move left is false. And uh, there it is. If boss saw left is greater than, or less than or equal to 12, then move left is false. And that's what it's saying. If he gets here or past, then it's uh, false. And it's the same thing for moving right if it's greater than. So when you're on the left of the boss, he'll move slowly towards the, your mouse. And then if you're on the right, he'll move slowly towards your mouse. Uh, man, allergies. Uh, timer 4 controls the bullet sizes. And this goes back to the, the time. It does that conversion if minutes is equal to zero in seconds is less than or equal to 30, then you got the bullet one size. Um, and that's saying if uh, if the bullet goes past 391, the width of the form is 400. So that's just saying if it gets to the bottom of the screen pretty much, it uh, resets back to where the boss is and uh, moves it over a little bit to where it's in the middle of the boss and then that's all that does moves the bullet back up to where the boss is and then after 60 se or 30 seconds it'll grow to the second bullet size which is all the bullets are just different labels to different set to different sizes so 60 seconds or less it's bullet 2. Minute 30 seconds, it's, uh, 3. Then, uh, all you have to do here, since this if statement will catch it and ignore this one, all you have to do is minute equal, greater than or equal to 1. So, you don't need an extra seconds there. And then it'll go to the fourth side. But if you're quick, you won't get past the second one. And uh, whenever I did, I was like 28 seconds or something like that. Whenever I showed y'all that, this does the attack button. It's a uh, a random attack X is one integer to determine where the X axis is. Is uh, and the attack Y is determine where on the X axis or the Y axis it'll move. And just moving it left or right, either negative 150 to 150. So attack button dot left. If attack button not visible equals false, then attack button not visible equals true, and then it picks that random integer. Attack button dot left minus equals attack x. I guess you could have done plus equals. Either way, it'll just move it a different way. And then uh, that's again saying if it moves, you know, if this moves past 
the sides of the field or bottom of the field. They can only go up to about this line right here, so it won't be all up in the boss's way and everything. But if it can, uh, if it, the dot left is less than 12, that's saying if it gets past this side, it moves. It won't move any more than that. If it moves past 476, which is this side, it won't move past that. Um, 193 dot, or if it's attack button dot top is less than or equal to 193, this part and up. Remember, 00 is up at the top left. So if it's less than, it'll be on the upward position. If it's less than 193, it won't move past that, and 368 for the bottom, it won't move past that. And then the else statement type button now visibly equals false, it's just making it disappear, and then when it comes back to the tick, it'll reappear. And then the last timer controls the transition into the win form right here. And I believe I've covered everything in the in the in the game. The moving tiles, which are labels. Everything in this game is labels, pretty much. And everything's a, a mouse mouse enter event. If it enters the form, you do the lose function. If it enters a certain label you do the lose function. How you do that is just like, if, say if you want to level label mouse down. Let's say you want something to where it'll do that. Uh, say start label dot visible equals true. It just makes some random line of code. So whenever you click the level label right there on the start page, start label will not not true. False. Whenever you mouse down, which is click, then uh it'll be invisible. See, it went invisible for a second there. Alright, let me go ahead and take that out. 